What's going on YouTube? Welcome back here to another YouTube video. In today's video, we have the AP Top 25 ahead of week two. Let's get into this poll, man. There's some, there's some interesting stuff in here. So at number one, they have Alabama, which is not surprising at all. They went into Utah, dominated. No surprise in there. They deserved that number one spot. At number two, they have the Georgia Bulldogs jumping to Ohio State from last year last week um pretty good stuff from the bulldogs obviously 49-3 win stetson Bennett looked incredible and that defense looks like they did last year honestly they have some elite defensive talent on there uh, on that team again it's pretty crazy but number three obviously like i said ohio state they got cj shroud they did you know i think they won the ugly game which i think is important for ohio state that they can win games like that so pretty impressive win versus Notre Dame for me. Um, yeah, you know, I think Notre Dame tried to expose their weakness and uh, Ohio State counted pretty well. So to be number three, I think you gotta be happy as a Buckeye fan. Number four, Michigan. Michigan gets in the top four. Uh, had a pretty good game uh, the last week. Pretty, pretty solid. Their quarterback position is still kind of rough. I don't know about how I feel about another starting JJ McCarthy this week, so we'll see how that goes. Number five, Clemson. I know um, the first quarter, not defensively, but offensively for Clemson was pretty shaky, and at times during this game, they can just clean up stuff. Clemson's one of the best teams in college football that can do that. I'm confident, I'm more high on Clemson than what other people are, because I think I saw some good stuff in their offense that they can do. Um, It'll be interesting to see who the starting quarterback is going to be down the road. I don't know if DJ is going to keep that job or if Cade uh, Klubnik comes in and steals it. So we'll have to see. Number six, Texas A&M. I think they won 31-0. Um, they didn't play the best football game. I think they'll admit that, especially offensively. I think the biggest takeaway is they look the same offensively as they have previously. Haynes King threw a couple interceptions. Um not ideal for your uh, starting quarterback versus not a very good team to do but they are ranked number six oklahoma ranked number seven impressive win 45 13 over utep so really good win for them uh, good start i think they're only going to get better though um, i'm not saying they're top four team material but i think um, you know i don't think they played their best game versus utep and they still won pretty good uh, notre dame took a little bit of uh, fall i think they were five now to number eight, so pretty good stuff. Uh, I, I agree with it being right here because Notre Dame is pretty competitive. I think their team, if they continue to get better during the season, could, could be pretty good. Baylor at number nine, uh, makes sense. They beat the heck out of the team. I think it was like 66 to 10 or something. Baylor looks like a really good football team. Uh, USC gets a big W, like 66-14. Um, three pick sixes. Defense looked pretty good uh, versus Rice, though. So we have to keep that in consideration. But KO looks pretty good. USC looks all right. I don't know if I would have them as a top 10 team yet, but that's just me. Oklahoma State, I think they stayed the same at number 11, or they may have fell a spot. Uh, Florida went from unranked to 12, so a huge jump from the Gators. Um, they definitely deserve to be ranked down of 12. Is the uh, right ranking for that's a pretty big jump, but uh, credit them for getting that dub uh, at the swamp. Utah is right behind Florida, they were ranked number seven out of 13 after a close loss. I think Utah's still a really good football team. Um, you know, I really like them still to win the Pac 12, so not really concerned for Utah. Michigan State, number 14. Uh, looks rocky at times. Michigan State did week one. I think their game was on Friday um, versus Western Michigan or something. I can't remember the team they were playing, but it was a pretty uh, rocky start for them. Um, definitely had to find their uh, their weapons on offense and make sure they utilize them. But they're ranked number 14. 15 is Miami. They looked really good. They put 70 up on uh up on the team, 
really good football team. They look like I think they could be a legit contenders in the ACC. I'm not saying they're going to win it. I think Clemson still does. But Miami could be a pretty good team this year. Don't be surprised. They looked really good in that first game. But we have to see more from them. Arkansas uh, beat Cincinnati. I know people were kind of disappointed in Arkansas. I think Arkansas is just fine. Um, I think their win just shows that they can win a lot of football games. I mean, I, th I think Cincinnati is actually a better team than what people think. Um, and Arkansas went out there and did their job. And I think you got to credit him doing that. Number 17, Pitt. They beat West Virginia in the backyard brawl. And pretty good ranking for them. Uh, not the most impressed by them. I don't know how many games they're going to win, but 17 is all right. NC State falls a little bit, I believe, to 18, which makes which makes a lot of sense. East Carolina is not the most crazy team, and they, they almost lost to them. So. But then they have special team errors. They would have lost. 19 is Wisconsin. Um, I think they got a dominating win. I think it was like 37-something. Uh, it looked pretty good. Um, they consistently got to make sure they're really good on offense. They have just a few explosive players and an explosive offense. I mean, Wisconsin's completely looked at as a different team, and they looked pretty good in their first game. Kentucky also looked good in the first game. Uh, I know they have forwarded this week, so it'll be interesting to see. They're number 20 in the rankings. BYU is ranked uh, number 21. They're facing Baylor this week, so they have a big test, and so do the uh, the Bears do as well. So BYU thought they looked pretty good versus I think they played South Florida like 51-20 or something. Pretty impressive W from uh, from them. Old Miss 22. I wasn't a big fan of their uh, win, so I don't know how I feel about Old Miss, but. Keep them around 22 is fine. Wake Forest, um, this team's kind of looked at it a little bit differently now since they got Sam Hartman back. I think he's playing this week. He's They're ranked number 23. Um, expecting big things out of that offense and that team. Really fun team to watch. Tennessee, I believe they cracked the rankings for the first time. This is the number 24 team. And let me make sure. Let's see how Tennessee did week one. Pretty sure they had a really good game. I didn't actually see. Uh, yeah, they won 59 to 10 the Ball State, and yeah, it looks pretty impressive. They do have Pitt uh, this week, so I think I'll take uh, t I'll take Tennessee in that game. Houston had a really close game. Um, they beat UTSA very closely and um, in double. I think it was like a double overtime. So impressive. Uh, Impressive by UTSA, which who was ranked last year? They bring back a lot, actually. They're really underrated. But yeah, Houston at number 25. That's the whole new AP. Um, not a real big complaints. Um, the only complaint I really have is maybe USC in the top 10. Uh, Florida going to unranked at 12. Uh, Oklahoma State still at 11. It's kind of surprising since they only won by 14. Um, Anything else? Tennessee, I think, could be a little bit higher. I think they're a better football team. Um, Kentucky, a little bit higher. Uh, NC State probably falls a little bit more for me. Pitt does as well because I know they won, but I don't know how good Pitt it really is. Um, I just think they're not the the best the best team in the uh, the world, especially not the ACC. I just don't like him as much as I did last year, so. Monkey. For the first place votes, uh, 44 were to Alabama, 17 to Georgia, 2 to Ohio State. So, Alabama has a pretty big uh, gap in that first place vote, even though Georgia got that dominating win um, versus Oregon. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.